Good afternoon, Keith. We are standing basically on a peninsula located right along the shore in Fairfield. You can see the water behind me. That is a creek. That is Pine Creek. And you can see that a house, because of the storm surge, came off its foundation and went partway into the creek. We just got a briefing from Governor Malloy, who said at this hour he's been told 40 percent of Connecticut residents are still without electricity this noontime. Here in Fairfield, at this location, three houses have been condemned, but 20, 20 of the houses right here have been declared unsafe. Part of the problem is they've had numerous gas leaks. So the gas company is actually here trying to track down that problem. So most of the folks, while they are here and allowed to do some cleanup and assess the damage, they're not actually allowed back in their homes at this point. Officials tell us that when this storm hit, the surge was so strong, it went right across the street. And they've spent the last 24 hours basically using a payloader to clear feet of sand from the road, put it back onto the ocean front. And only that, since they've done that, have people been able to get back in. So the problems here are numerous. Later today, they expect to bring in some water as well as food because folks here have absolutely nothing. And most of them, their homes have been declared unsafe. So tough times for these folks in Fairfield, just like a lot of the damage we've seen up and down Long Island Sound these last few days. Reporting live in Fairfield this afternoon, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.